Hey everyone, um, I just really quickly wanted to do my May favorites, um, so I'm just going to get started. Um, the first thing that I've been loving this month is actually, of course, the Naked Palette. Um, it's just got everything that I really need in it. The colors that I use the most are Naked and Buck, I would have to say. I mostly just use these first few colors. I haven't really used these very much, but I'm, I don't know, I'm sure I'll use them eventually. And then another one of my favorites is this double-sided pencil right here, um, Whiskey and uh, Zero. I love this. It's so easy. To, there's two colors in one. I usually do brown eyeliner on the top and then black on the outside edges. So I love that. And when I don't use that eyeliner, I use the Revlon Colorstay eyeliner. This lasts forever. You don't need to set it. It's awesome. So couple of other eyeshadows that I've really been loving this month are Carbon, um, let's see, Tissue Weight up here, and this one right here, Copper Plate, and there's one more. Oh, right here, Evening Aura. I've been loving those a lot. Actually, I'm very proud of myself. I just depotted seven eyeshadows and took out the divider here for my um, palette so I feel really proud of myself that I actually did that so yeah moving on my favorite mascara this month is the Tarte Lights Camera Lashes mascara um, I got it in a sample size and I just loved it so I bought the full size it was $19 a little bit more than I expected but oh well it's awesome um, let's see let's do lips now um, favorite combination right now is the MAC Viva Glam Gaga, the original, the pink one. This. And then over top of that, I like to put the lip glass in Ice Scape over top. I believe this came, I bought, I got it in a, like one of the little tins that came out with the, I don't know what the collection was called, like the Scottish one, I don't know that came in there. Um, my favorite blush, well no, let's do this. Favorite foundation is Revlon Colorstay. Favorite. Favorite blush is the MAC blush in the Perfect Cheek. I do not know what collection this came out with, but I love it because it's a matte eyeshadow and it's really not that pigmented. You can see right there. But it just adds it just adds the right amount of color to your cheeks. Um, last makeup favorite. Oh no, not my last. Almost. I bought the little trial size of the Urban Decay All Nighter um, Setting Spray. I love this. When this runs out, I'm going to buy the full size because this is awesome. I spray it over my face when I'm done completely with my makeup. It just sets everything and makes your skin look flawless and dewy. It's just great. Um, the finishing powder that I've been using is the Clinique Transparent. I don't know. I don't know. This is what it looks like. Like that. So I've been using that. And then one thing that I really want to rave about really, really quickly, this brush right here. It's dirty beyond belief, but... I use this brush every single day. Like I used it today. It's awesome. It is from Coastal Scents. It's the C433 Pro Pro Blending Fluff brush. It's supposed to be like the MAC 217. But it's oh, it's awesome. I use this brush and this brush alone to do all my eyes. It's it's just awesome. So if you are in the market for a, a brush like the 217, I think that's what it's called, like the 217, get this brush. It, I think it was like five bucks compared to twenty four fifty. So check this out. Coastal Scents has awesome brushes. And that's about it. So I'll see you in my next video. Bye.